Okay guys, welcome to this tutorial series about how we can implement React Final Form into our projects. Uh, so basically in this first video what we are going to do, we are going to install uh, the library into our React project and we are just going to do a basic integration on, of a form and displaying how uh, and showing you guys how we can uh, uh, add new fields and all of that cool stuff that uh, right final form has for us so so the first thing that we need to do is to install uh, the library so you can do that by just going into the documentation here in the website uh, from right final form and use npn or charm to install it I'm using yarn, so I will just copy this code here and paste it here. I'm just going to run that. So now that it is installed, the first thing that we need to do in order to use a React Final Form is to import two uh, components, the form component and the field component that a React Final Form has for us. So I'm just going to import this uh, right here. And <clears throat> to start uh, to start, we need to return the form component in our main component. So we do that by just typing form. So now if we run our project and we go to the website, we will see that we get an error saying that no onsumic function is specified. That's because a final form requires to have an unsubmit function here uh, in order to uh, work properly. And also, we are going to get an error uh, if we don't specify the render prop. So this render prop is where we're going to have a, a, all of the fields uh, from our form. So in this case, render has a function that has uh, the render props uh, parameters here so we declare the render props and right now if we try to console log these render props we will see all of the functions that a uh, final form has for us so if I go to inspect and I go to console here we can see all of the functionality we can do with React Final Form. So now, in order to display some fields, uh, we just need to return a form uh, like you will usually do uh, in your projects a form, and we need to specify. A, a, well, right now we don't need to specify anything, but when we do this, we have our form working uh, fine. So one of the things that I like to do with uh, this render props is to destruct this so it's more cleaner. So we do here we can call all of these uh, all of these functions or variables in here. So in this case, the first thing that I that I need to to have here is our on submit function. So this handle submit basically just calls this on submit function. And we can uh, set that here. So we say on submit and we declare the handle submit. Okay, so now that we have that there, to start displaying something, we use this field component from React Final Form. So in the documentation, they say that if we go to the field uh, page here, we can see that we can use the field to uh, add an input. So we just need to add the input. Uh, so we need to add the word input inside the component a uh, prop. And now and then we have the name here that this is basically declaring the the value or one of the field values for uh, for our form. So in this case, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste that information here so we don't need to declare the field because we already have it here and um, if we save this and we go to the website we get this field right here so 
what we can do is also uh, maybe change the name here for name and then we can copy and paste this and we can say something for uh, email and this is an input uh, in the type we can call this email and then we will get uh, another field here we can also add the placeholder so for example placeholder I'm just going to call this a uh, name and the placeholder for this one is email we say we go to a website and we see the the placeholder being displayed here so basically it works like an input uh, uh, but with the option to uh, have our uh, states declared uh, when we uh, add these components so what I mean by that so for example right now if we try to have a bottom of a type submit and you say uh, send and in our on submit function we are always going to have our values here we can just console log our values you will see that we are going to get so in this case I'm hiding this because I have some information some private information there so by we can say a uh, test and we can say test a uh, user at gmail.com and we send this we get our values here so as you can see one of the advantages of using react final form if we compare it to formic for example is that we don't need to declare our initial values uh, when we are uh, st uh, when we are declaring our form component so by just adding the these fields right here we will get our uh, our values when we submit so yeah so from here and um, we can do something uh, similar for example for a text area and we can change the type we can just remove this uh, and we can just say a comment or whatever you want to call this and we are going to see a text area right here so you can go and check the documentation we have this select also as well Okay, so now what we can do also is uh, display a select uh, input type. So we can say the name select and we can add the component uh, equals to select. Uh, I'm just going to change the name here. I'm going to say uh, countries, for example. So here, to add the different options, we just say option and we uh, add an US and we can add any other one to say Canada and we can to our friends and, and and we can do that and it will go to our website here we can see our different options being displayed here so right now if we for example add something right here and we send this uh, we will be able to see the all of the values from these fields right here so so that's that's pretty much it for this uh, introduction and uh, for now i'm just using the basic components that comes with rack final form uh, on the next video what we are going to be doing is creating our own components and see how we can take advantage of this so that we can reuse as many components as possible and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next video